How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman Dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean By providence impoverished and squalor Grow up to be a hero and a scholar the ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter by being a self-starter by 14 they placed him in charge of a trading charter and every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up inside he was longing for something to be a part of the brother was ready to beg steal borrow or barter then a hurricane came and devastation rained on man he saw his future drip dripping down the drain put a pencil to his temple connected to his brain, and he wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain. Well, the word got around, they said this kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. Get your education, don't forget from whence you came, and the world's gonna know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton, and there's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait, just you wait When he was ten, his father split full of it Debt ridden two years later See Alex and his mother bedridden half dead Sitting in their own sick, the scent thick And Alex got better, but his mother went quick Moved in with a cousin, the cousin committed suicide Left him with nothing but ruined pride Something new inside a voice saying Alex, you gotta fend for yourself He started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf but There would've been nothing left to do for someone less astute He would've been dead and destitute without a cent or restitution Started working, working for his late mother's landlord Trading sugar cane and rum and all the things he can't afford to scare the Asking. Oh, well, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard your name at Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. When I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of yours, I may have punched him. It's a blur. Sir, he handles the financials. You punched the burr, sir. Yes, I wanted to do what you did, graduate in two and join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid, I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? It was my parents' dying wish before they passed. You're an orphan. Of course, I'm an orphan. God, I wish there was a war, then we could prove that we're worth more than anyone bargained for. Can I buy you a drink? That would be nice. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. 
What? Smile more. Ha! <laughs> Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. You can't be serious. You wanna get ahead? Yes. Fools who run their mouths off wind up dead. Ay uh, yo 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 yo. What time is it? Showtime. Like I said. Showtime. Showtime. Yo, I'm John Lawrence in the place to be. A two pints of Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. Ha. Those red coats don't want it with me, 'cause I will pack chick a plat. Till I'm free. Hey, oui, oui, mon ami, je m'appelle Lafayette. The Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir to the king, cause it's why who is the best? C'est moi. Bra, bra, I am Hercules Mulligan, up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother said, Come again. Hey. Lock up your daughters and horses. Of course, it's hard to have intercourse over four sets of corsets. Wow, no more sex. <laughs> Pour me another brew, son. Let's raise a couple more to, to the, the revolution. revolution. Well, if it ain't the prodigy of Bristol College. Aaron Burr. Give us a verse, drop some knowledge. Mm-hmm. Good luck with that, you're taking a stand. You spit, I'm a sit. We'll see where we land. Oh. The revolution's imminent. What do you stall for? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what'll you fall for? I probably shouldn't brag, but dag, I'm amazed and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains, but no polish. I gotta holler just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough, a shiny piece of coal, trying to reach my goal. My power of speech unimpeachable. Only 19, but my mind is older. These New York City streets get colder. I shoulder every burden, every disadvantage I've learned to manage. I don't have a gun to brandish. I walk these streets famished. The plan is to fan this spark into a flame. But damn, it's getting dark, so let me spell out the name. A colony that runs independently. Meanwhile, Britain keeps shitting on us endlessly. Essentially, they tax us relentlessly. Then King George turns around, runs a spending spree. He ain't never gonna set his descendants free. So there will be a revolution in this century. Enter me. He says in parentheses. Don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. I will lay down my life if it sets us free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy, and I am not thrown away. My shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. It's time to take a shot. I dream of life without a monarchy. The unrest in France will lead to anarchy. Anarchy? How you say? I use all oh, anarchy. <laughs> When I fight, I make the other side panicky with my shit. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice, and I got chopped knuckleheads and local parentis. I'm joining the rebellion 'cause I know it's my chance to socially advance instead of sewing some pants. I'm gon' take a shot. And but we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. You and I do or die. Wait till I sally in on a stallion with the first black. Shot geniuses, lower your voices. You keep out of trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get shot. Bird, check what we got, Mr. Lafayette. Hard rock like Lance a lot. I think your pants look hot, Lawrence. I like you a lot. Let's hatch a plot blacker than the kettle calling the pot. What are the odds of God to put us all in one spot? Popping a squad and conventional wisdom like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary men, you mission abolitionists. Position, show me where the ammunition is. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get overexcited, shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy.
imagine death so much it feels more like a memory When's it gonna get me? In my sleep, seven feet ahead of me If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past twenty Where I come from, some get half as many Ask anybody why we live it fast And we laugh, reach for a flash We have to make this moment last That's plenty, scratch that This is not a moment, it's the movement Where all the hungriest brothers were something to prove went Foes oppose us, we take an honest stand We roll like Moses, claiming our promised land And if we win our independence Is that a guarantee of freedom for our descendants? Or will the blood we shed begin an endless cycle of vengeance and death with no defendants? I know the action in the street is exciting But Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting I've been reading and writing We need to handle our financial situation Are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting I'm passionately smashing every expectation Every action's an act of creation I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow When I am not for I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I will gladly join the fight. But I will gladly join their fight. And when our children tell our story, and when, when our, our children, children tell our story, they'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Raise a glass to freedom. Something they can never take away. No matter what they tell you Raise a glass to the four of us Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom Something they can never take away No matter what they tell you Let's have another round tonight Raise a glass to the four of us Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight Let's have another round tonight They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight Folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the common just to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Uh oh, but little does he know that his daughters Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, sneak to the city just to watch all the guys. It work, work. Angelica. I'm looking for a mind at work. I'm looking for a mind at work. I'm looking for a mind at work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Work. Ooh, there's nothing like summer in the city. Someone in a rush sniff for someone looking pretty. Excuse me, miss, I know it's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. While you slumming in the city in your fancy heels, you searching for an urchin who can give you ideals. Sir, you disgust me. Ah, so you disgust me. I'm a trust fund, baby, you can trust me. I've been reading Common Sense by Thomas Paine So men say that I'm intense or I'm insane You want a revolution, I want a revelation So listen to my declaration We hold these truths to be self-evident That all men are created equal And when I meet Thomas Jefferson uh. I'ma compel him to include women in the sequel Work! Look around, look around How lucky we are to be alive right now Look around, look around How lucky we are to be alive
Curie, and I present free thoughts on the proceedings of the Continental Congress. Heed not the rabble who scream revolution. They have not your interest at heart. Oh my God, tear this dude apart. Chaos and bloodshed are not a solution. Don't let them lead you astray. This Congress does not speak for me. They're playing a dangerous game. I pray the king shows you his mercy. For shame, for shame. Yeah. Heed have not you the all rabble, rabble, let the sound of screams. But the revolution's coming. They, they have not a good win. Just at heart. Hard to listen to you with a straight face. Chaos and, and bloodshed already haunt us. A solution and even talk. Don't and what about Boston? Look at the cost and all that we've lost. And you talk this about Congress. Congress does not speak for My me. dog speaks more eloquently it than me. A dangerous dream. I pray the king shows you his mercy. Oh, is he in Jersey? For shame for the revolution. For shame for the revolution. Yourself again, I'm gonna scream. scream. Honestly, look at me, please don't read. Not your interest. Don't modulate the key, then not debate with me. Why should a tiny island across the sea regulate the price of tea? Alexander, please. Burr, I'd rather be divisive than indecisive. Drop the niceties. Silence! A message from the king. A message from the king. A message from the price of my love is not a price that you're willing to pay You cry in your tea which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away Now you're making me mad Remember despite our estrangement I'm your man You'll be back, soon you'll see you remember you belong to me You'll be back, time will tell you remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall We have seen each other through it all And when push comes to shove I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 You say our love is draining and you can't go on. Cause you're my favorite subject My sweet, submissive subject My loyal, royal subject Forever and ever Like before, I will fight the fight and win the war For your love, for your praise And I'll love you till my dying days When you're gone, I'll go mad So don't throw away this thing we heard Cause when push comes to shove I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love da 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 da
As a kid in the Caribbean, I wished for a war I knew that I was poor, I knew it was the only way to rise up If they tell my story, I am either gonna die on the battlefield in glory or rise up I will fight for this land, but there's only one man who can give us a command so we can rise up Understand, it's the only way to rise up, rise up here he comes. Here comes the general. Ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the general. The moment you've been waiting for. Here comes the general. The pride of Mount Vernon. Here comes the general. general. To Washington. We are outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned. We gotta make an all out stand. Hey yo, I'm gonna need a right hand man. Check it. Can I be real a second? For just a millisecond Let down my guard and tell the people how I feel a second Now I'm the model of a modern major general The venerated Virginian veteran Whose men are all lining up To put me up on a pedestal Writing letters to relatives Embellishing my elegance and eloquence But the elephant is in the room The truth is in your face When you hear the British cannons go Boom! Any hope of success is fleeting How can I keep leading When the people I'm leading keep retreating We put a stop to the bleeding as the British take Brooklyn Night takes Rook, but look, we are outgunned Outmanned Outnumbered, outplanned We gotta make an all-out stand Hey yo, I'm gonna need a right-hand man Incoming! They're battering down the battery, check the damages We gotta stop them and rob them of their advantages Let's take a stand with the stamina God has granted us Hamilton won't abandon ship, yo, let's steal the cannon Shaboom! Goes the cannon, watch the blood and the shit spray And boom! Goes the cannon, we're abandoning Kip's Bay And boom! There's another ship and boom! We just lost the southern tip and boom! We gotta run to Harlem quick, we can't afford another slip Guns and horses, giddy up I decide to divvy up my forces This skittish as the British cut the city up This close to giving up, facing mad scrutiny I scream in the face of this mass mutiny Are these the men with which I am to defend America? We ride at midnight, Manhattan in the distance I cannot be everywhere at once, people I'm in dire need of assistance Your Excellency, sir Who are you? Aaron Burr, sir Permission to state my case As you were Sir, I was a captain under General Montgomery Until he caught a bullet in the neck in Quebec And well, in summary I think that I could be of some assistance I admire how you keep firing on the British from a distance. I have some questions, a couple of suggestions on how to fight instead of fleeing west. Yes? Well, Your Excellency, you wanted to see me. Hamilton, come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We, we keep, keep meeting. As I was saying, sir, I look forward to seeing your strategy play out. Burr, sir, close the door on your way out. Have I done something wrong, sir? On the contrary, I called you here because our odds are beyond scary. Your reputation precedes you, but I have to laugh. Sir? Hamilton, how come no one can get you on their staff? Sir! Don't get me wrong, you're a young man of great renown. I know you stole British cannons when we were still downtown. Nathaniel Green and Henry Knox wanted to hire yeah, you. To be their secretary, I don't think so. Now why are you upset? I'm not. It's alright you wanna fight, you've got a hunger. I was just like you when I was younger Head full of fantasies of dying like a martyr Yes, dying is easy, young man Living is harder Why are you telling me this? I'm being honest I'm working with a third of what our Congress has promised We are a powder keg about to explode I need someone like you to lighten the load So, I am not throwing away my shot I am not throwing away my shot And you're just like my country And you I am not throwing away my shot Son, we are outgunned, outmanned You need all the help you can get I have some friends Lawrence Mulligan, Marquis de Lafayette Okay, what else? Outnumbered, outplanned You need some spies on the inside Some king's men who might let some things slide I'll write to Congress and tell them we need supplies We rally the guys, master the element of surprise I'll rise above my station Organize your information Till we rise to the occasion of our new nation Stop. Here comes the general
Cause a bastard, orphan, son of a whore, go on and on, grow into more of a phenomenon. Watch this obnoxious, arrogant, loud mouth bother. Be seated at the right hand of the father. Washington hires Hamilton right on sight. But Hamilton still wants to fight, not right. Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable. But what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. There are so many to deflower. Ladies. Look, proximity to power. Ladies. They delighted and distracted him. Martha Washington named her feral tomcat after him. That's true. 1780, a winter's ball And the Skylar sisters are the envy of all Yo, if you could marry a sister, your rich son Is it a question of if, burr, or which one? Hey, 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 hey For all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. One week later, I'm writing a letter night me. Now my luck gets better every letter that you write me. Laughing at my sister because she wants to form a harem. I'm just saying, if you really love me, you would share them. Ha! Two weeks later, I'm in the living room stressing. My father stone faced while you're asking for his blessing. I'm dying inside as you whine and die. Credits and my top notch brain insane. Your family brings out a different side of me. Peggy confides in me. Angelica tried to take a bite of me. No stress, my love for you is never in doubt. We'll get a little place in Harlem and we'll figure it out. I've been living without a family since I was a child. My father left, my mother died. I grew up buck wild, but I'll never forget my mother's face. I was real. As long as I'm alive, Eliza, I swear to God, you'll never feel so. I never felt so Oh,
I'm talking about. Now, everyone, give it up for the maid of honor, Angelica Skylar. A toast to the groom. To the groom. To the groom. To the groom. To the bride. To the bride. To the bride. I'm sure I don't know what you mean, you forget yourself You're like me, I'm never satisfied Is that right? I've never been satisfied My name is Angelica Schuyler Alexander Hamilton Where's your family from? Unimportant, there's a million things I haven't done Just you wait just you wait so, so, so. so this is what it feels like to match wit with someone at your level what the hell is the catch it's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light it's ben franklin with the key and a kite you see it right the conversation lasted two minutes maybe three minutes everything we said in total agreement it's a dream and it's a bit of a dance a bit of a posture it's a bit of a stand he's a bit of a flirt but i'ma give it a chance i asked about his family did you see his answer his hands started fidgeting he looked askance he's penniless he's flying by the seat of his pants handsome boy does he know it peach fuzz then he can't even grow it I want to take him far away from this place Then I turn and see my sister's face And she is so Fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that I love him, she'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least, my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. <laughs>
I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I've seen wonders great and small. I've seen wonders great and small. Cause if the Tomcat can get married, if Alexander can get married, there's hope for our ass after all. Raise a glass to freedom. Hey! Something you will never see again. No matter what she tells you. Let's have another round tonight. Here's a glass to the four of us. To the newly not poor of us. Woo! We'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another <laughs> round. Well, Citizen Aaron Burr. Sir? I didn't think that you would make it. To be sure. Burr. I came to say congratulations. It's been a verse, Burr. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, Burr. <laughs> Ignore them. Congrats to you, Lieutenant Colonel. I wish I had your command instead of manning George's journal. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now be sensible. From what I hear, you've made yourself indispensable. Well, well, I heard you got a special someone on the side. Is that so? What are you trying to hide? I should go. No, these guys should go. What? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, man. It's all right, Bert. I wish you'd brought this girl with you tonight, Bert. You're very kind, but I'm afraid it's unlawful, sir. What do you mean? She's married. I see. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. Congrats again, Alexander. Smile more. I'll see you on the other side of the war. I will never understand you. If you love this woman, go get her. What are you waiting for? See you on the other side of the war. I'll see you on the other side of the war. Theodosia writes me a letter every day. I'm keeping her bed warm while her husband is away. He's on the British side in Georgia. Trying to keep the colonies in line Well, he can keep all of Georgia Theodosia, she's mine Love doesn't discriminate Between the sinners and the saints It takes and it takes and it takes And we keep loving anyway We laugh and we cry and we break And we make our mistakes And if there's a reason I'm by her side When so many have tried Then I'm willing to wait for it I'm willing to wait for it Wait for it Grandfather was a fire and brimstone preacher. Preacher, preacher, preacher. But there are things that the homilies and hymns won't teach her. Teacher, teacher, teacher. My mother was a genius. genius. My father commanded respect. Respect, respect. When they died, they left no instructions, just a legacy to protect. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes, and we can live in any way. We rise and we fall and we break and we make. And if there's a reason I'm still alive When everyone who loves me has died I'm willing to wait for it, wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it Like in his shoes Hamilton doesn't hesitate He exhibits no restraint Takes and he takes and he takes And he keeps winning anyway Changes the game Plays and he raises the stakes And if there's a reason he seems to thrive And so few survived And God damn it, I'm willing to wait for it I'm willing to wait for it Life doesn't discriminate
seen the general so despondent I have taken over writing all his correspondence Congress writes George attacked the British forces I shoot back we have resorted to eating our horses local merchants deny us equipment assistance they only take British money so sing a song of sixpence the cavalry's not coming but sir Alex listen there's only one way for us to win this provoke outrage outright that's right don't engage strike by night Remain relentless till their troops take flight. Make it impossible to justify the cost of uh -huh. the fight. Outrun, outrun, outlast, outlast. Hit them quick, get out fast. Stay alive until this harbor show is past. We're gonna fly a lot of flags half mast. Raise a glass. I go back to New York in my apprenticeship. I ask for French aid, I pray that Francis sent a ship. I stay at work with Hamilton, we write essays against slavery. And every day's a test of our camaraderie and bravery. We cut supply lines, we steal contraband. We pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand. And every day, sir, entrust me with a command. And every day, no. he dismisses me out of hand. Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee, makes him second in command. I'm a general! Not the choice I would have gone with. He shits the bed at the Battle of Monmouth. Everyone attack! Retreat! Attack! Retreat! What are you doing? Lee, get back on your feet! But there's so many of them! I'm sorry, is this not your speed? Hamilton, ready, sir! Have Lafayette take the lead! Yes, sir! A thousand soldiers die in a hundred degree heat. As we snatch our stalemates from the jaws of defeat. Charles Lee was left behind without a pot to piss in. He started saying this to anybody who would listen. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices Indecisive from crisis to crisis The best thing he can do for the revolution Is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon Don't do a thing, history will prove him wrong But sir, we have a war to fight, let's move along Strong words from Lee, someone ought to hold him to it I can't disobey direct orders Then I'll do it Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got Lawrence? Do not throw away your shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. Number one. The challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. Number two. If they don't, grab a friend. That's your second. Your lieutenant. When there's reckoning to be reckoned. Number three. Have your seconds meet face to face. Negotiate a peace. Or negotiate a time and place. This is commonplace, especially between recruits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four. If they don't reach a peace, that's all right. Time to get some pistols and the doctor on site. You pay him in advance, you treat him with civility. You have him turn around so he can have deniability. Five, four before the sun is in the sky. Pick a place to die where it's high and dry. Number six, leave a note for your next to kin. Tell him where you've been. Pray that hell or heaven lets you in. Seven, confess your sins. Ready for the moment of adrenaline. When you finally face your opponent. Number eight, your last chance to negotiate. Send in your second, see if they can set the record straight. Alexander. Aaron Burr, sir. Can we agree the duels are dumb and immature? Sure, but your man has to answer for his words, Burr. With his life? We both know that's absurd, sir. Hang on, how many men died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Okay, so we're doing this. Number nine. Look him in the eye, ain't no higher. Summon all the courage you require. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, number ten, paces, fire! Lee, do you yield? You shot him in the side, yes, he yields. I'm satisfied. Yo, we gotta clear the field. Yo, we won. Here comes the general. This should be fun. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Burr, get a medic for the general. Yes, sir. Lee, you will never agree with me. Believe me, these young men don't speak for me. Thank you for your service. Let's ride. Hamilton, sir, meet me inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. 
meet him inside, meet him, meet him inside. Son, don't call me son. This war is hard enough without infighting. Lee called you out, we called us You bluff. solve nothing, you aggravate our allies to the south. You're absolutely right, John should have shot him in the mouth. That would have shut him up, son. I'm not your son. Watch your tone, I am not a maiden in need of defending. Charles I am Lee, wrong. Thomas Conway, these men take your name and they rake it through the mud. My name's been through a lot, I can take Well, I don't have your name, I don't have your titles, I don't have your land, but if you know. If you gave me command of a battalion, a group of men to lead, I could fly above my station after the war. Or you could die, and we need you alive. I am more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive, son, I need you alive. Call me son one more time. Go home, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Sir? Go home. chance to meet your son look around look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now will you relish being a poor man's wife unable to provide for your life i relish being your wife look around look around look at where you are look at where started the fact that you're alive is a miracle just stay alive that would be enough and if this child shares a fraction of your smile or a fragment of your mind to look out for that would be enough I don't pretend to know challenges you're facing the world you keep erasing and creating in your mind but I'm not afraid I know who I married so long as you come home at the end of the day that would be enough we don't need a legacy we don't need money if I could grant you peace of mind If you could let me inside your heart Oh, let me be a part of the narrative In the story they will write someday Let this moment be the first chapter Where you decide to stay And I could be enough And we could be enough How does a ragtag volunteer army in need of a shower somehow defeat a global superpower? How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire? Leave the battlefield waving Betsy Ross's flag higher? Yo, turns out we have a secret weapon, an immigrant You know and love who's unafraid to step in He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman! Yeah. I'm taking this horse by the reins, making red coats, weather with blood stains Then I'm never gonna stop until I make a drop of brand, I'm up and scatter the remains down Watch me 
me engaging them, escaping them, and raging them out. I got the rhymes for more fun. I come back with more guns and ships, and so their balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war in Yorktown, cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there's someone else we need. I know. So he knows what to do in the trench, ingenuity and fluent in French, I mean So you're gonna have to use him eventually, what's he gonna do in the bench, I mean No one has more resilience or matches my practical, tactical brilliance You want to fight for your land back I need my right hand man back yeah. Get your right hand man back, you know you gotta get your right hand man back I mean you gotta put the button to the letter, but the sooner the better to get your right hand man back Alexander Hamilton Troops are waiting in the field for you if you join us right now, together we can turn the tide Oh, Alexander Hamilton I have soldiers that will yield for you If we manage to get this right They'll surrender my early life no. I was younger than you are now When I was given my first command I led my men straight into a massacre I witnessed their deaths firsthand I made every mistake And felt the shame rise in me And even now I lie awake Knowing history has its eyes History has its eyes on me Let me tell you what I wish I'd known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story I know that we can win I know that greatness lies in you, but remember from here on in, history has its eyes on you. Monsieur Hamilton Monsieur Lafayette In command where you belong Are you saying no sweat? We're finally on the field, we've had quite a run Immigrants We get the job done So what happens if we win? I go back to France, I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance We'll be with you when you do Go, lead your men I'll see you on the other side Till we meet again I am not throwing away my shot I am not throwing away my shot Hey yo, I'm just like my country I'm young, scrappy and hungry And I'm not throwing away my memory this is where it gets me on my feet the enemy ahead of me if this is the end of me at least i have a friend with me weapon in my hand a command of my men with me then i remember my allies is expecting me not only that my allies is expecting we gotta go gotta get the job done gotta start a new nation gotta meet my son take the bullets out your gun the bullets out your gun we move undercover and we move as one through the night we have one shot to live another day we cannot let a straight gunshot give us away we will fight up close seize the moment it's either that or meet the business end of a bayonet The code word is Rochambeau, take me Rochambeau You have your orders now, go man, go And so the American experiment begins With my friends all scattered to the winds Lawrence is in South Carolina, redefining bravery We'll never be free until we end slavery When we finally drive the British away Lafayette is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside 
one side, that's right. Hercules Mulligan! I tell a spine on the British government. I take the measurements, information, and then I smuggle it. Up to my brother's revolutionary covenant. I'm running with the sons of liberty, and I am loving it. See, that's what happens when you up against the ruffians. We in the shit now, somebody's gotta shovel it. Hercules Mulligan, I need no introduction. When you knock me down, I get the fuck back up again. <laughs> A young man in a red coat stands on a parapet. We lower our guns as he frantically waves their white handkerchief. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded, we count our dead. Black and white soldiers wonder alike if this really means freedom. Not yet. We negotiate the terms of surrender. I see George Washington smile. We escort their men out of your town. They stagger home single file, tens of thousands of people flood the streets. There are screams and church bells ringing. And as our fallen foes retreat, I hear the drinking song they're singing. The world turned upside down. The world turned upside down. The world turned Price of my wars, not a price that they're willing to pay. Insane! You cheat with the French, now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. I'm so blue. I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away. You were mine to subdue. Well, even despite our estrangement, I've got a small query for you. What comes next? You've been freed. Do you know how hard it is to lead? You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. It's much harder when it's all your call. All alone across the sea. When your people say they hate you, don't come crawling back to me. Da 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 da. Da 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 ya da 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 ya da. You're on your own. Dear Theodore. What to say to you You have my eyes You have your mother's name When you came into the world You cried And it broke my heart I'm dedicating every day to you Domestic life Was never quite my style When you smile you knocked me out, I fall apart And I thought I was so smart You will come of age with our young nation We'll bleed and fight for you We'll make it right for you If we lay a strong enough foundation We'll pass it on to you We'll give the world to you And you'll blow us all away Someday, someday You'll blow us all away Someday, someday
someday Oh, Philip, when you smile I am undone My son, look at my son Pride is not the word I'm looking for There is so much more inside me now Philip, you outshine the morning sun, my son. When you smile, I fall apart, and I thought I was so smart. My father wasn't around. My father wasn't around. I swear that I'll be around for you. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make a million mistakes. I'll make the world safe and sound for you. We'll come of age with our young nation. We'll bleed and fight for you. We'll make it right for you. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. Gladly join the fight. It's from John Lawrence. I'll read it later. No, it's not. And when our children tell our story, will you read it? They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday, the 27th, Lieutenant Colonel John Lawrence was killed in a gunfight against British troops in South Carolina. These troops had not yet received word from Yorktown that the war was over. He is buried here until his family can send for his remains. As you may know, Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence was engaged in recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. The surviving members of this regiment have been returned to their masters. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Alexander, are you all right? I have so much work to do. After the war, I went back to New York. After the war, I went back to New York. I finished up my studies and I practiced law. I practiced law, Burr work next door. Even though we started at the very same time, Alexander Hamilton began to climb. How to account for his rise to the top? Man, the man is non-stop Gentlemen of the jury, I'm curious, bear with me Are you aware that we're making history? This is the first murder trial of our brand new nation The liberty behind deliberation I intend to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt with my assistant counsel Oh, counsel Hamilton, sit down A client, Lemmy Weeks is innocent Call your first witness, that's all you had to say Okay, one more thing Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Soon that attitude may be your doom. Oh, why do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Keep on fighting in the meantime. Non-stop. Corruption's such an old song that we can sing along in harmony. And nowhere is it stronger than in Albany. These colonies, economies increasingly stalling. And honestly, that's why public service seems to be calling me. I practice the law, practically perfected it. I've seen injustice in the world and I've corrected it. Now for a strong central democracy. If not, then I'll be Socrates throwing verbal rocks at these mediocrities. Hamilton at the Constitutional Convention. I was chosen for the Constitutional Convention. There is a New York Junior Delegate. Now what I'm gonna say may sound indelicate. Uh. He goes and proposes his own form of government. What? His own plan for a new form of government. What? Talks for six hours. The convention is listless. Right, young man. Yo, who the F is this? Why do you always say what you believe? Why do you always say what you believe? 
every proclamation guarantees free ammunition for your enemies. Oh, oh, why do you ride like it's going out of style? Ride day and night like it's going out of style. Every day you fight like it's going out of style. Do what you do. Alexander? Aaron Burr, sir. Well, it's the middle of the night. Can we confer, sir? Is this a legal matter? Yes, and it's important to me. What do you need? Burr, you're a better lawyer than me. Okay. I know I talk too much. I'm abrasive. You're incredible in court. You're succinct, persuasive. My client needs a strong defense. You're the solution. Who's your client? The new U.S. Constitution? No. Hear me out. No way. A series of essays anonymously published defending the document of the public. No one will read it. I disagree. And if it fails. Burr, that's why we need it. The Constitution's a mess. So it needs amendments. It's full of contradictions. So is independence. We have to start somewhere. No. No way. You're making a mistake. Good night. Hey, what are you waiting for? What do you stall for? What? We won the war. What was it all for? Do you support this constitution? Of course. Then defend it. And what if you're backing the wrong horse? Burr, we studied and we fought and we killed for the notion of a nation we now get to build. For once in your life, take a stand with pride. I don't understand how you stand to the side. I'll keep all my plans close to my chest. Accompanied by someone who always pays I have found a wealthy husband Who will keep me in comfort for all my days He is not a lot of fun But there's no one who can match you For turn of phrase My Alexander Don't forget to ride Look at where you are Look at where you started The fact that you're alive is a miracle To stay alive that would be enough if your wife could share a fraction of your time If I could grant you peace of mind Would that be enough? Alexander joins forces with James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the new United States Constitution entitled The Federalist Papers. The plan was to write a total of 25 essays, the work divided evenly among the three men. In the end, they wrote 85 essays in the span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Like you're running out of time. Are you running out of time? How do you write like tomorrow won't arrive? How do you write like you need it to survive? How do you write every second you're alive? Every second you're alive? Every second Asking me to lead, I'm doing the best I can to get the people that I need. I'm asking you to be my right hand. Treasury man. or state, I know it's a lot to treasury ask. Treasury or state, to leave behind the world, you know. Sir, do you want me to run the treasury or state department? Treasury. Let's go. Alexander. I have to leave. Alexander. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Helpless. They are asking me to leave. Look around, isn't this enough? He will never be satisfied. He will never be satisfied. Satisfied. History has Seventeen, set, set, seventeen, set, set, seventeen, 
1789. How does the bastard, orphan, immigrant, decorated war vet Unite the colonies through more debt Fight the other founding fathers till he has to forfeit Have it all, lose it all, you ready for more yet? Treasury Secretary Washington's the president Every American experiment sets a precedent Not so fast, someone came along to resist him Pissed him off until we had a two-party system You haven't met him yet, you haven't had the chance Cause he's been kicking ass as the ambassador to France But someone's gotta keep the American can't promise you simply must meet Thomas, Thomas. And the world still spins I help Lafayette draft a declaration Then I said I gotta go I gotta be in Monticello Now the work at home begins So what did I miss? What did I miss? Mm. Virginia, my home sweet home I wanna give you a kiss I basically missed the late 80s I traveled the wide, wide world And came back to this There's a letter on my desk from the president Haven't even put my bag down yet Sally, be a lamb, darling, won't you open it? It says the president's assembling a cabinet And then I end up being the secretary of state Great, and I'm already saying it approved I just got home and now I'm headed up to New York the rolling fields, I can't believe that we are free. Ready to face whatever's awaiting me in NYC. But who's waiting for me when I step in the place? My friend James Madison, red in the face. He grabs my arm and I respond, what's going on? Thomas, we are engaged in a battle for our nation's very soul. You get us out of the mess we're in oh. Hamilton's new financial plan is nothing less than government control I've been fighting for the South alone Where have you been, uh, France? Oh. We have to win well, What did I miss? What, what, what did I miss? What did I Something to say I'm already gone my way To get to the bottom of this What did I miss? Oh. Mr. Jefferson, welcome home Mr. Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton Mr. Jefferson, welcome home Mr. Jefferson, welcome home Sir, you've been off in Paris For so long So what did I and gentlemen, you could have been anywhere in the world tonight, but you're here with us in New York City. Are you ready for a cabinet meeting, huh? The issue on the table, Secretary Hamilton's plan to assume state debt and establish a national bank. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. These are wise words, enterprising men quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them. Ow, but Hamilton forgets. His plan would have the government assume state debt. Now place your bets as to who that benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Oh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? 
Uh, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax the South, cause we got it made in the shade. In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create, you just wanna move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand And it's too many damn pages for any man to understand Stand with me in the land of the free Pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidacy Look, when Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky Imagine what gon' happen when you try to tax our whiskey Thank you, Secretary Jefferson Secretary Hamilton Your response Thomas that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present, we're running a real nation. Would you like to join us? Or stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you doing, Monticello? If we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial diuretic, how do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost, you'd rather give it a sedative? A civics lesson from a slaver, hey neighbor, your debts are paid cause you don't pay for labor. We plant seeds in the south, we create and keep ranting. We know who's really doing the planting. And another thing, Mr. Age of Enlightenment, don't lecture me about the war, you didn't fight in it. You think I'm frightened of you, man? We almost died in the trench. Well, you were off getting high with the French. Thomas Jefferson always hesitant with the president. Medicine, there isn't a plan he doesn't jettison. Madison, you mad as a hat, so take your medicine. Damn, you in worse shape than the national debt is in. Sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over, I'll show you where my shoe fits. Excuse me. Madison, Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. We're gonna reconvene after a brief recess. Hamilton, sir, a word. You don't have the votes. You don't have the votes. <laughs> You're gonna need congressional approval and you don't have the votes. Such a blunder, sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? You wanna pull yourself together? I'm sorry, these Virginians are birds of a feather. Young man, I'm from Virginia, so watch your mouth. So we let Congress get held hostage by the South? You need the votes. No, we need bold strokes. We need this no, plan. No, you need to convince more folks. Well, James Madison won't talk to me. That's a non-starter. Ah, winning was easy, young man. Governing's hard. They're being intransigent. You have to find a compromise. But they don't have a plan. They just hate mine. Convince them otherwise. And what happens if I don't get congressional approval? I imagine they'll call for your removal. Sir, figure it out, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, six, sept, huit, neuf. Good. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, six, sept, huit, neuf. Set wheat nuff, set wheat nuff, set wheat nuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My dearest Angelica, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. I trust you'll understand the reference to another Scottish tragedy without my having a name to play. They think me Macbeth. Ambition is my folly. I'm a polymath, a pain in the ass, a massive pain. Madison is Banquo, Jefferson's Macduff, and Burnham Wood is Congress on its way to Dunsany. And there you are, an ocean away. Do you have to live an ocean away? Thoughts of you subside, then I get another letter, and I cannot put the notion away. Take a break. I'm on my way. There's a little surprise before supper, and it cannot wait. I'll be there in just a minute, save my plate. Alexander, okay, okay. your son is nine years old today he has something he'd like to say he's been practicing all day philip take it away daddy daddy look my name is philip i am a poet i wrote this poem just to show it and i just turned nine you can write rhymes but you can't write mine what? i practice friendship play piano with my mother uh -huh. i have a sister but i want a little brother okay. my daddy's trying to start america's bank take a break hey our kid is pretty great run away with us for the summer let's go upstate lies i've got so much on my plate we can all go stay with my father there's a lake i know uh -huh. Try to get away. My 
dearest Alexander, you must get through to Jefferson. Sit down with him and compromise. Don't stop till you agree. Your favorite older sister, Angelica, reminds you there's someone in your corner all the way across the sea. In a letter I received from you two weeks ago, I noticed a comma in the middle of a phrase. It changed the meaning. Did you intend this? One stroke and you've consumed my waking days. It says, My dearest Angelica. With the comma after dearest, you've written my dearest Angelica. Anyway, all this to say, I'm coming home this summer at my sister's invitation. I'll be there with your family if you make your way upstate. I know you're very busy, I know your work's important, but I'm crossing the ocean and I just can't wait. You won't be an ocean away, you'll only be a moment away. Angelica's arriving today <laughs> Angelica, Eliza The Skyler sisters Alexander Hi It's good to see your face Angelica, tell this man John Adams spends the summer with his family Angelica, tell my wife John Adams doesn't have a real job anyway you're not joining us, wait I'm afraid I cannot join you upstate Alexander, I came all this way She came all this way All this way, take, take a, a break. break You know I have to get my plan through Congress Stay with us for the summer, let's go upstate I lose my job if we don't get this plan through Congress All the stay with our father Nothing like summer in the city. Someone under stress meets someone looking pretty. There's trouble in the air, you can smell it. And Alexander's by himself. I'll let him tell it. I hadn't slept in a week. I was weak, I was awake. You've never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break. Longing for Angelica. Missing my wife, that's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life, she said I know you are a man of honor, I'm so sorry to bother you at home But I don't know where to go, and I came here all alone She said My husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, mistreating me Suddenly he's up and gone I don't have the means to go on So I offered her a loan, I offered to walk her home, she said You're too kind, sir I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away She lived a block away, she said This one's mine, sir Then I said, well I should head back home She turned red, she led me to a bed Let her legs spread and said Stay Hey Hey That's when I began to pray Lord, show me how to say no to this I don't know how to say no to this But my God, she looks so helpless And her body's saying hell yes No, show me how to say no to this I don't know how to say no to this In my mind, I'm trying to go Then her mouth is on mine And I don't say no, no That was the last time I said that last time It became a pastime A month into this endeavor I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds Even better, it said 
Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health And in a prosperous enough position to put wealth In the pockets of people like me Down on their luck, you see That was my wife who you decided to Uh oh, you made the wrong sucker a cucko So time to pay the pipe before the pants you want buckle And hey, you can keep seeing my whole wife If the price is right If not, I'm telling you your wife I hit the letter and I raced to a place Screamed, I'll cut you in the face She said, no Apologetic, a mess. She looked pathetic. She cried. Please don't go, sir. So what's your full story? You said I don't know about any letters. Stop crying, goddammit, get up. I didn't know any better. How you ruined me? Please don't leave me. I am helpless. helpless. How could I do this? Just give him what he wants, and you can help me. I don't me. want you. Whatever he I don't wants, want you. if you pay. Nobody needs to know. Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr, sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claremont Street? Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer Legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. Yeah, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. Huh. Now how you gonna get your debt plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less. Smile more. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. The Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton. I'm sorry, Burr, I gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed foes. They emerge with a compromise, having open doors that were previously closed. Bros. The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power, a system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital. And here's the pièce de résistance. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played. Of the trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Thomas Crane. Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas Crane. Alexander said, I'd nowhere else to turn. And basically begged me to join the fray. Thomas Crane. I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas Crane. Well, I arranged the meeting. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the party gets. The yes, the pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Meanwhile, Congress is fighting over where to put the capital. <laughs> it isn't pretty. Then Jefferson approaches with the dinner and invite, and Madison responds with Virginian insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win the victory for the Southerners. In other words, ho, ho. a quid pro quo. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac. And you'll provide him his vote. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. What else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? No 
one else has in the room where it happened to Alexander Hamilton. What did they say to you to get you to sell New York City down the river? Alexander Hamilton. Did Washington know about the dinner? Was the presidential pressure to deliver? Alexander Hamilton. Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. capital? Cause we all have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got more than you gave. And I wanted what I got. When you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game Oh, you get love for it, you get hate for it You get nothing if you wait for it, wait for it, wait God help and forgive me I wanna build something that's gonna outlive me What do you want, bro? 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 I, I wanna be in the room where it happens The room where it happens I Wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens. Saying what they trade away We dream of a brand new star But we dream in the dark for the most part Dark as a tomb where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I gotta be, I gotta be in the room where it happens Click, boom! Grandpa's in the paper. War hero Philip Schuyler in danger of losing Senate seat to young upstart Aaron Burr. Grandpa might lose his seat in the Senate. I thought he was unopposed. Not according to the paper, he isn't. Go make sure the door is closed. Further down, further down, see Schuyler has a challenger from New York. New York for, for Senator, Senator Burr. Burr. I gotta go, I gotta find out. No. He'll consider this a personal slander I've got to stop a homicide oh. Look around, we should look around Let's go and find your father down in New York New York Burr, since when are you a Democratic Republican? Since being one put me on the up and up again No one knows who you are or what you do They don't need to know me, they don't like you Excuse me? Oh, Wall Street thinks you're great You'll always be adored by the things you create But upstate you're the rascal who trades away the capital Wait The asshole who taxes the a a alcohol I've always considered you a friend I don't see why that has to end A Senate seat was up for grabs and I took it It's not my fault, people think you're crooked You're gonna make a fool of me through my father-in-law? Well, there's the kid who almost shot Charles Lee in the jaw My God, your pride will be the death of us all But where it goeth before the fall? Alexander, there you are Eliza Got your papers, Mr. Burke, good sir, it's been so long. How are the Theodosians? As a matter of fact, my wife has taken ill. I'm not surprised, what with the chill, you'll send her our regards. I will. And how's your daughter? She's my pride and joy, fluent in French and Latin. So am I. She's the same age as your boy. Yeah, one day he'll run We house. must be going, Burr, but send your girl. Nice to meet your son. We're not done, Mr. Burr, sir. If I were you, I'd stick with you. Dear Theodosia, how to say to you Sometime last night Your mother breathed your name And like a flame that flickers out too soon She died, she Come away with our young name. 
inspiration We bleed and fight Sometimes it seems that's all we do But you and I will build a strong foundation And I'll be here for you The way is clear for you to blow us all away on the verge of war with England. Now do we provide aid and troops to our French allies or do we stay out of it? Remember, my decision on this matter is not subject to congressional approval. The only person you have to convince is me. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. When we were on death's door when we were needy, we made a promise. We signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we'd lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppressors. And revolution is messy, but now is the time to stand. Stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. I know that Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I'll remind you that he is not Secretary of State. He knows nothing of loyalty. Smells like new money, dresses like fake royalty. Desperate to rise above his station. Everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. Hey, and if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Come on, let's see it. You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think the president is gonna bring the nation to the brink of meddling in the middle of a military mess, a game of chess where France is queen and kingless. Who signed a treaty with a king whose head is now in a basket? Would you like to take it out and ask it? Or should we honor our treaty, King Louis' head? Uh, do whatever you want. I'm super dead. That's enough, really enough. Good. Hamilton is right. Mr. President. We're too fragile to start another fight. But, sir, do we not fight for freedom? Sure, when the French figure out who's gonna lead them. The people are leading. The people are rioting. There's a difference. Frankly, it's a little disquieting. You would let your ideals blind you to reality. Hamilton, sir. Draft a statement of neutrality. Did you forget Lafayette? What? Have you an ounce of regret? You accumulate debt, you accumulate power, yet in their hour of need you forget. Lafayette's a smart man, he'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. If we try to fight in every revolution in the world, we never stop. Where do we draw the line? So quick-witted. Alas, I admit it. I bet you were quite a lawyer. My defendants got acquitted. Yeah. Well, someone ought to remind you. What? You're nothing without Washington behind you. Hamilton. <gasps> Daddy's calling. It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side Every action has an equal opposite reaction Thanks to Hamilton, our cabinet's fractured into factions Try not to crack under the stress, we're breaking down like fractions we smack each other in the press and we don't print retractions I get no satisfaction witnessing his fits of passion The way he primps and preens and dresses like the pits of fashion Our poorest citizens, our farmers live ration to ration As Wall Street robs them blind in search of chips to cash in This prick is asking for someone to bring him to task Somebody give me some dirt on his vacuous mask so we can at last unmask him I'll pull the trigger on him, someone load the gun and cock it While we were all watching he got Washington in his pocket It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side Mr. President, you asked to see me I know you're busy What do you need, sir? Sir, I want to give you a word of warning Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning You're kidding 
I need a favor. Whatever you say, sir. Jefferson will pay for this behavior. Shh. Talk less. I'll use the press. I'll write under a pseudonym. You'll see what I can do to him. I need you to draft an address. Yes, he resigned. You can finally speak your mind. No. He's stepping down so he can run for president. Ha! Good luck defeating you, sir. I'm stepping down. I'm not running for president. I'm sorry, what? One last time Relax, have a drink with me One last time Let's take a break tonight And then we'll teach him how to say goodbye To say goodbye You and I To talk about neutrality sure. With Britain and France on the verge of war Is this the best I time? I want the war against partisan fighting what? Pick up a pen, start writing I want to talk about what I have learned The hard-won wisdom I have earned As far as the people are concerned You have to serve You could continue to serve no. One last time The people will hear from me One last time and if we get this right, we're gonna teach them how to say goodbye. You and I. Mr. President, they will say you're weak. No, they will see we're strong. Your position is so unique. So I'll use it to move them along. Why do you have to say goodbye? If I say goodbye, the nation learns to move on. Lives me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree, a moment alone in the shade. At home, in this nation we one last time One last time Though in reviewing the incidents of my administration I am unconscious of intentional error I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence, and that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion, as I myself will soon be, to the dimensions of rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens the benign influence of the good laws and the free government the ever favorite object of my heart and a happy reward as I trust of our mutual care labors and dangers one last time Say goodbye George Washington's going home You and I say George Washington's yielding his power and stepping away 
that true? I wasn't aware that was something a person could do. I'm perplexed. Are they going to keep on replacing whoever's in charge? If so, who's next? There's nobody else in their country who looms quite as large. John Adams? I know him. That can't be. That's that little guy who spoke to me all those years ago. What was it? 85. That poor man, they're going to eat him alive. Oceans rise. Empires fall. Next to Washington, they all look small. All alone. Watch them run. They will tear each other into pieces Jesus Christ, this will be fun da 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 President John Adams Good luck how does Hamilton, the short-tempered protean creator of the Coast Guard, founder of the New York Post, ardently abuse his cabinet post, destroy his reputation? Welcome, folks, to the Adams administration. Jefferson's the runner-up, which makes him the vice president. Washington can't help you now no more, Mr. Nice President. Adams fires Hamilton, privately calls him Creole bastard in his taunts. Hamilton publishes his response. An open letter to the fat, arrogant, anti-charismatic, national embarrassment known as President John Adams. Shit. The man's irrational, he claims that I'm in league with Britain in some vast international intrigue. Bitch, please, you wouldn't know what I'm doing. You're always going berserk, but you never show up to work. Give my regards to Abigail next time you write about my lack of moral compass. At least I do my job up in this rumpus. The line is behind me, I crossed it again. Well, the president lost it again. Oh, such a rough life. Better run to your wife, you're the bosses in Boston again. Let me ask you a question. Who sits at your desk when you're in Massachusetts? They were calling you a dick back in 76, and you haven't done anything new since. You since, with no sense. You'll die of irrelevance. Go ahead, you can call me the devil. You spot on my level, you spot on my levelance. Say hi to the Jeffersons and the spies all around me. Maybe they can confirm. I don't care if I kill my career with this letter. I'm confining you to one term. You Hamilton's out of control. This is great. He's out of power, he holds no office, and he just destroyed President John Adams, the only other significant member of his party. Hamilton is a host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Madison. Senator Burr. What is this? We have the check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts to a Mr. James Reynolds way back in 1791. Is that what you have? Are you done? You are uniquely situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I can almost see the headline, your career is done. I hope you save some money for your daughter and son. Your best one run back where you come from. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. confess You have nothing, I don't have to tell you anything at all Unless, Unless. If I can prove that I never broke the law Do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened Is that a yes? Um, yes Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck You see, that was my wife who you decided to what? She courted me, escorted me to bed And when she had me in a corner, that's when Reynolds extorted me for a sordid fee I paid him quarterly, I may have mortally wounded my prospects But my papers are orderly As you can see, I kept a record of every check in my check in history Check it again against your list and see consistency I never spent a cent that wasn't mine You sent the dogs after my scent, that's fine Yes, I have reason for shame But I have not committed treason and sullied my good name 
As you can see, I have done nothing to provoke legal action. All my answers to your satisfaction. My God. Gentlemen, let's go. So? The people won't know what we know. Burr, how do I know you won't use this against me the next time we go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Alexander, rumors only grow. And we both know what we know. of a hurricane there is quiet for just a moment a yellow sky when I was 17 a hurricane destroyed my town I didn't drown I couldn't seem to die I wrote my way out wrote everything down far as I could see I wrote my way out I looked up and the town had its eyes on me They passed a plate around And total strangers Moved to kindness By my story Raised enough for me to book passage on a ship that was New York bound I wrote my way out of hell I wrote my way to revolution I was louder than the crack in the bell I wrote Eliza, love letters until she fell I wrote about the constitution and defended it well And in the face of ignorance and resistance I wrote financial systems into existence And when my prayers to God were met with indifference I picked up a pen, I wrote my own deliverance In the eye of a hurricane there is quiet For just a moment yellow sky I was 12 when my mother died she was holding me we were sick and she was holding me I couldn't seem to die wait for me wait for me wait for me I'll write my way out wait for me, wait for me, wait for write everything down far as I can see I'll write my way out Overwhelm them with honesty This is the eye of the hurricane This is the only way I can protect my legacy My real crime is an amorous connection with his wife For a considerable time with his knowing consent I had frequent meetings with her Most of them in my own house At his own house At his own house Mrs. Hamilton with our children being absent on a visit to her father No Have you read this? Well, he never gonna be president now 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 now. One less thing to worry about, that's one, one less thing to worry about. <laughs> I came as soon as I heard. Angelica. All the way from London. Damn. Angelica, thank God someone who understands what I'm struggling here to do. I'm not here for you. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. I love my sister more than anything in this life. I will choose her happiness over my
moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, "Be careful with that one, love. He will do what it takes to survive." You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. Only reading the letters you wrote me, I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign. And when you were mine. You brought this girl into our bed. In clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she read what you'd done? She said you've married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border on senseless, and you are paranoid in every paragraph. How they perceive you, 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 you. I'm erasing myself from the narrative. Let future historians wonder how Eliza reacted when you broke her heart. You have torn it all apart. I'm watching. To know what I said, I'm burning the memories, burning the letters that might have redeemed you. You forfeit all rights to my heart. You forfeit the place in our bed. You'll sleep in your office instead, with only the memories of when you were mine. I hope that you Meet the latest graduate of King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but that guy amazes and astonish. The scholars say I got the same virtuosity. Your brains is my pops. The ladies say my brains not where the resemblance stops. I'm only 19, but my mind is older. Gotta be my own man, like my father, but bolder. I shoulder his legacy with pride. I used to hear him say that someday I would blow us all away. Ladies, I'm looking for Mr. George Eaker. Made a speech last week. I will fall the July speaker. He disparaged my father's legacy in front of a crowd. I can't have that. I'm making my father proud. I saw him dressed up Broadway, a couple of blocks. He was going to see a play. Well, I go visit his box. God, you're a fox. Hey, Y'all look pretty good in your frocks. How about when I get back, we all strip down to our socks? Okay. Yeah. Blow us all away. I'm trying to watch the show. You should have watched your mouth before you talked about my father, though. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. Your father's a scoundrel, and so it seems to you. It's like that. Yeah, I don't fool around. I'm not your little schoolboy. See you on the dueling ground. That is, unless you want to step outside and go now. I know where to find you. Piss off and watching this show now.
Pops, if you had only heard the shit he said about you, I doubt you would have let it slide, and I was not about Slow you. Down. I came to ask you for advice. This is my very first duel. They don't exactly cover this subject in boarding school. Did your friends attempt to negotiate a peace? He refused to apologize. We had to let the peace talk cease. Where is this happening? Across the river in Jersey. Everything, Everything is legal in New Jersey. Jersey. All right. So this is what you're gonna do. Stand there like a man until Eker is in front of you. When the time comes, fire your weapon in the air. This will put an end to the whole affair. But what if he decides to shoot, then I'm a goner. No, you'll follow suit if he's truly a man of honor. To take someone's life, that is something you can't shake. Philip, your mother can't take another heartbreak. Father, promise me. You don't want this young man's blood on your conscience. Okay, I promise. Come back home when you're done. Take my guns, be smart. Make me proud, son. My name is Philip. I am a poet. And I'm a little nervous, but I can't show it. I'm sorry, I'm a Hamilton with pride. You talk about my father, I cannot let it slide. Mr. Eaker, how was the rest of your show? I'd rather skip the pleasantries. Let's go. Grab your pistol. Confer with your men. The duel will commence after we count to ten. Count to ten. Look him in the eye, ain't no higher. Summon all the courage you require And slowly and clearly aim your gun towards the sky One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Mr. Hamilton, come in. They brought him in a half an hour ago. He lost a lot of blood Is on the way alive? over. Yes, but you have to understand. The bullet entered just above his hip and lodged can in his I right arm. Can I see him, please? I'm doing everything I can. But the wound was already infected when he arrived. Philip. Pa. I did exactly as you said, Pa. I held my head up high. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know you did everything just right Even before we got to ten I was aiming for the sky I know, I know, I was aiming I know, for I know, the sky I know, save your strength and stay alive Is he breathing? Is he going to survive this? Who did this, Alexander? Did you know? On my. You changed the melody every time. I would always change the line. Shh, I know, I know. I would always change the line. I know, I know. And the toi cut sing, si set we know. Si set we know. Good. And the toi cut sing, si set we know. Set we know. Set we know. There are moments that the words don't reach There is suffering too terrible to name You hold your child as tight as you can And push away the unimaginable The moments when you're in so deep It feels easier to just swim down The Hamiltons move uptown And learn to live with the unimaginable Hours in the garden I walk alone to the store And it's quiet uptown I never liked the quiet before I take the children to church on Sunday A sign of the cross at the door And I pray That never used to happen before you see him in the street, walking by himself, talking to himself, have pity. Philip, you would like it uptown, it's quiet uptown. He is working through the unimaginable. His hair is gone gray, he passes every day. They say he walks the length of the city. You knock me out, I fall apart. Can you imagine? 
Please. Yo. Every action has its equal opposite reaction. John Adams shat the bed. I love the guy, but he's in traction. Poor Alexander Hamilton. He is missing in action. So now I'm facing Aaron Burr with his own faction. He's very attractive in the North. New Yorkers like his chances. He's not very forthcoming on any particular stances. Ask him a question that glances off. He obfuscates. He dances. And they say I'm a Francophile. At least they know I know where France is. Thomas, that's the problem. See, they see Burr as a less extreme you. Yeah. You need to change course. A key endorsement might redeem you. Who did you have in mind? Don't laugh. Who is it? You used to work on the same staff. It might be nice, it might be nice to get Hamilton on your side. It might be nice, it might be nice to get Hamilton on your side. Talk less, smile more. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Shake hands with him, charm her. 1800 ladies tell your husbands vote for Burr. I don't like Adams. Well, he's gonna lose. That's just defeatist. And Jefferson in, in love with France. France. Yeah, he's so elitist. I like that Aaron Burr. I can't believe we're here with him. He seems approachable. Like who could grab a beer with him? Dear Mr. Hamilton, your fellow Federalists would like to know how you'll be voting. It's quiet up Dear Mr. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand a chance. So who are you promoting? Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir, Alexander, you've created quite a stir, sir. I'm going door to door. You're openly campaigning. Sure. That's new. Honestly, it's kind of draining. Burr, sir. Is there anything you wouldn't do? No, I'm chasing what I want, and you know what? What? 
I learned that from you. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, it's a tie. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, it's up to the delegates. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, it's up to Hamilton. If you had to choose, if you had to choose, to hear my voice oh. The country is facing a difficult choice oh. And if you were to ask me who I'd promote oh. Jefferson has my vote oh. I had never agreed with Jefferson once oh. We have fought on like 75 different fronts oh. But when all is said and all is done Jefferson has beliefs Burr has none Well I'll be damned well, I'll be damned. Hamilton's on your side. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. And you won on a landslide. Congrats on a race well run. I did give you a fight. Uh huh. I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership as your vice president. <laughs> yeah, right. You hear this guy? Man openly campaigns against me, talking about I look forward to our partnership. It is crazy that the guy who comes in second gets to be vice president. Oh, you know what? We can change that. You know why? Why? Because I am the president. Burr, when you see Hamilton, thank him for the endorsement. How does Hamilton, an arrogant, immigrant, orphan, bastard, whore's son, somehow endorse Thomas Jefferson, his enemy? A man he's despised since the beginning Just to keep me from winning I wanna be in the room where it happens The room where it happens The room where it happens You've kept me from the room where it happens For the last time Dear Alexander Slow to anger, but I toe the line As I reckon with the effects of your life on mine I look back on where I failed And in every place I checked The only common thread has been your disrespect Now you call me immoral A dangerous disgrace If you've got something to say Name a time and place face to face I have the honor to be your obedient servant, A. Burr. Mr. Vice President, I am not the reason no one trusts you. No one knows what you believe. I will not equivocate on my opinion. I have always worn it on my sleeve. Even if I said what you think I said, you would need to cite a more specific grievance. Here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreements. Sweet Jesus. Hey, I have not been shy. I am just a guy in the public eye trying to do my best for our republic. I don't want to fight, but I won't apologize for doing what's right. I have the honor to be. Your obedient servant, A. Ham. Careful how you proceed, good man. Intemperate indeed, good man. Answer for the accusations I lay at your feet. Or prepare to bleed, good man. Burr, your grievance is legitimate. I stand by what I said, every bit of it. You stand only for yourself. It's what you do. I can't apologize because it's Let's true. Stand, Alexander. We hawking dawn. Guns drawn. You're on. I have the honor to be your obedient servant. A dot ham. A dot bird. Alexander, come back to sleep I have an early meeting out of town It's still dark outside I know I just need to write something down Why do you write like you're running out of time? Shh. Come back to bed, that would be enough I'll be back before you know I'm gone Come back to sleep This meeting's at dawn Well, I'm going back to sleep Best of wives and best of women.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten things you need to know. Number one. We rode across the Hudson at dawn. My friend William P. Van Ness signed on as my number two. two. Hamilton arrived with his crew. Nathaniel Pendleton and the doctor that he knew. Number three. I watched Hamilton examine the terrain. I wish I could tell you what was happening in his brain. This man has poisoned my political pursuits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four. Hamilton drew first position. Looking to the world like a man on a mission. This is a soldier with a marksman's ability. The doctor turned around so he could have deniability. Five. Now I didn't know this at the time, but we were near the same spot. My son died, is that why? He examined his gun with such rigor. I watched as he methodically fiddled with the trigger. Seven. Confession time, here's what I got. My fellow soldiers will tell you I'm a terrible shot. Number eight. Your last chance to negotiate. Send in your second, see if they can set the record straight. They won't teach you this in your classes, but look it up. Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim, it's him or me. The world will never be the same. I had only one thought before the slaughter. This man will not make an orphan of my daughter. Number nine. Look him in the eye, aim no higher. Summon all the courage you require, then count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten, pace is fire. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? On my feet, several feet ahead of me. I see it coming. Do I run or fire my gun or let it be? There is no beat, no melody. Burr, my first friend, my enemy. Maybe the last face I ever see. If I throw away my shot, is this how you remember me? What if this bullet is my legacy? Legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. I wrote some notes at the beginning of a song someone will sing for me. America, you great unfinished symphony, you sent for me. You let me make a difference. A place where even orphan immigrants can leave their fingerprints and rise up. I'm running out of time, I'm running in my time's up. Wise up, eyes up. I catch a glimpse of the other side. Lawrence leads a soldier's chorus on the other side. My son is on the other side. He's with my mother on the other side. Washington is watching from the other side. Teach me how to say goodbye. Rise up, rise up, rise up, Eliza. My love, take your time. I'll see you on the other side. Raise a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the skyway! I strike him right between his ribs. I walk towards him, but I am ushered away. They row him back across the Hudson. Tells me you'd better hide. They say Angelica and Eliza were both at his side when he died. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. History obliterates, and every picture it paints, it paints me in all my mistakes. When Alexander aimed at the sky, he may have been the first one to die, but I'm the one who paid for it. I survived, but I paid for it. Now I'm the villain in your history. I was too young and blind to see. I should have known. I should have known the world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. The world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. Let me 
let me tell you what I wish I'd known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story President Jefferson I give him this. His financial system is a work of genius. I couldn't undo it if I tried. And I tried. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? President Madison. He took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity. I hate to admit it, but he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. And when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells, who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Eliza, I put myself back in the narrative. Eliza, stop wasting time on tears. I live another 50 years. It's not enough Eliza. I interview every soldier Who fought by your side she tells our story. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings You really do write But you're running out of time I rely on Angelica While she's alive we tell your story She is buried in Trinity Church near you When I needed her most she was right on time And I'm still not through what would you do if you had more time? The Lord in his kindness, he gives me what you always wanted. He gives me more time. I raise funds in D.C. for the Washington Monument. She tells my story. I speak out against slavery. You could have done so much more if you only had time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell your story? show you what I'm proudest of. Be your orphanage. I established the first private orphanage in New York City. Be your orphanage. I helped raise hundreds of children. I get to see them growing Be up. Orphanage. In their eyes I see you, Alexander. I see you every time. And when my time is up, have I Who tells your story?